All right. Well, welcome back. Uh, it's been a minute. I've been on the grind working on some uh, entrepreneurial things, um, building a website, which is pretty much done, um, and some other, among some other things. So that's my main attention has been towards that. Um, and, and me being the perfectionist I am, I don't want to... I thought about filming it, let me just say that. Uh, the progress. But I think that it would do probably more damage than good and I just take away from stuff. So I'm going to film, I think, once I get set up and then we'll go from there. Anyways, so as you can see below, we have some uh, what seems to be guppy grass and some duckweed along with uh, some hitchhikers, as you probably saw. Um, the This was a little bit of a combination of things. It was a DIY, it was an experiment, and a lesson learned. And uh, I'm not af afraid to uh, learn lessons. <laughs> but um, anyways, um, I was out working and I came across this... Um, irrigation-ish kind of a ditch um, that's obviously been running very well and it had this in there so my thought was let's get some um, we'll try our best to get rid of the hitchhikers and I can maybe use it in some of my tanks I know that uh, guppies and shrimp which was my main thing shrimp would love grass like this so I rinsed it off like five times at least and um, to dechlorinate water in some buckets thought I got it all out, or at least a good a portion of it out, and I was completely wrong. And as you saw the beetle, that's a, an aquatic beetle. And there were a ton of worms. And my first initial thing was I was really frustrated and kind of mad, to be honest with you, that there was that many. Um, I didn't expect it to be that much. And so what I did is I grabbed um, some parasite killer, threw it in there pretty heavily, um, and attempted to kill all the um, the worms, I figured. Um, and then also I threw this heater, um, up, and it's at 86 degrees, and that usually will kill a lot of parasites. So I'm hoping that that will aid to the destruction of all of these worms. And... Um, Anyways, one of the reasons I wanted to make this video is you really got to be careful about um, collecting stuff from wild because it's going to come with some stuff. I personally don't know um, whether these worms could become food or my fish or my shrimp would become food for them. So um, looking up um, some of them, some of them look like they possibly could have been dangerous for uh, my fish and my animals. But um, I still want to make this video and kind of just experiment and see what happens. Um, and I think that what I could do is I could take some of this um, guppy grass and I can just minimum get a tiny little piece because it grows so quick and make sure that that small piece is good. And at least I have, oh, there's the beetle right there. Um, make sure that um, at least the um, small piece is good and then just grow it from there. Um, and then I can eventually just ditch this, I guess, if I want or just keep it around. I don't know. But uh, I'm not going to lie. The worms kind of creep me out. Um, there's some kind of like a flat worm. They've got like a uh, triangular shaped head and they're, and they're decent size. I'll try to find some. But I think that parasite killer got a lot of them um, in combination with the heat. Um, this heat's only been on for a little bit. I just got this heater today, a couple hours ago, for the, just for this tank. Um, well, for the experiment. But anyways, it's really dirty too. And I, I'm telling you, I I rinsed this thing uh, a bunch of times. Oh, there's the beetle. Check out the beetle. Pretty cool, huh? He is a full-on aquatic beetle too. I mean, this sucker swims. He's got like paddles. Carries around like a little air air bubble. Um, if you look on the bottom of him, pretty cool. It looks a lot like uh, a um, ladybug, just a little bit bigger. Um, but anyways, how cool would this be if this was for shrimp? I mean, that would be like paradise. 
Sorry, it's a little funny. There's the bear right there. Anyways, oh, here's a worm right here. So, sorry, I'm trying. We're in my garage here. I'm building a tank wall that's pretty, uh, gonna be pretty nice. Anyways, let's see if I can. And see, that one's kind of got like a hammerhead shaped head. Um, and, or triangular, actually more triangular shape. But anyways, um, there were a lot and I didn't see, and I'm sure that, um, there's still going to be a lot more left. That one's alive. That one's not, that's not a good sign. So I do know that there's like some deworming stuff I can get. Um, you can actually use, from what I remember, um, some deworming stuff for like dogs. You can use that in your fish tank, believe it or not. Um, now, if you have crustaceans and all that kind of stuff, then that might get a little, a little iffy. But the, the thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to possibly kill them off without killing the grass off. And, and like I said, the worst case scenario is I just take a couple clippings that are, you know, for sure clear and then throw the rest of it away. But um, I thought I would take advantage of this opportunity and kind of just show you. I mean, I mean, I'm telling you, I, I rinsed this off a good five times minimum in a bucket or two buckets, actually. So technically, it was almost like 10 cleanings. <laughs> Because we're going to one and another and then another and another. Oh, look at there's another little worm. But you see, they're like sluggish. When they're flat, they almost look like um, leech leeches. Very interesting. Um, there's also. I can find them. Some like long dark worms. Uh, I'm not sticking my hand in there necessarily. <laughs> if I can help it. Let me see. Let's look on this side here. It's kind of in a weird spot, my thing. It was just kind of a last minute thing. Oh, here's some worms right here. And they're not looking too hot. I'll throw some pointers up on them, but. Um, yeah, pretty creepy. I mean, there's, I'm not even kidding you. I probably saw a hundred worms or slug type worms and different kinds. There's one right there. And I, it looks pretty dang clean to me. I don't know. These things were hiding amazingly. But, um, anyways, kind of cool. One of the um, hazards and, and things that can happen when you do your little, you know, nat nat natural collection. Um, you know, like I expected some hitchhikers, but the amount I got in just this small little clump was amazing. I, I, I really could not get over how many there really were. I mean, it was insane. So, and I and I sucked out a lot of these too. Right when I first got it, I was gravel vacuuming and then, but it was just really tough to do. So I figured that's that's when I just got frustrated, threw in the parasite killer. Um, and then today it's just threw in the heater, crank that up to 86. I may crank it up to the highest, which I think is 89. Um, and that generally kills off a lot of things. Um, similar to a, a, um, a, a fever. That's uh, in case you guys have never watched my other videos and um, stuff, I did a video on how to cure ick and you can do it without medicine. You just got to do heat, just like a fever. And the fish can handle it, but the parasite can't. And so you just crank it up to about 86 degrees for about 10 days and boom, you know. You, go, you can waste your money on a lot of medication and, and risk health of stuff and uh, of the fish and bacteria and whatnot. But, uh, oh, there's a little tiny worm right there. It's falling down. What are the chances?
Oh, here we go. Here are some. Oh, that's another thing. I hear some sound. And it sounds like it's coming from this tank. See if you can hear that. It might be the beetle making that sound. It is, it's the beetle. That's so interesting. Nature's crazy, man. Look at that sucker. That's crazy, he's loud. Anyways, um, here are some worms right here. Look, they're trying to get out of the water. And they are creepy, dude. Sorry, when I zoom in a lot, it gets a little shakier. And the thing, too, you gotta think about, too, is how many... How many worms do you not see? Oh, there's a ton in that corner under that grate. That's a good sign. I need to get rid of them. Oh, that might be the darker kind. Anyways, pretty cool. Pretty cool. This is just, uh, like I said, kind of an experiment and uh, a learning lesson all in one. And we'll see. We'll see um, if the medications and the heat. I should have done one at a time, but I kind of just wanted to get this stuff done. Because realistically, I want the grass to start growing and I want to put some nutrients in with the water with the grass. Um, but yeah. Anyways, kind of a crazy little video. If you guys know what these are or have any experience like this and or dealt with any of these things or, or into these bugs or any worms, I don't know, any of that stuff. Leave that stuff in the comments. I'd be curious. I know I have some people that, um, some subscribers that watch that are uh, into spiders and stuff. That looks almost like a leech. When I was a kid, we used to catch leeches, but they were a different shape. They were black. I don't think that's necessarily a leech, but it, it, that looks similar. And then maybe it's a different kind, I don't know. The ones I would catch were in California. SoCal, South Cal, Southern California. Anyways. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Thanks uh, for watching. Subscribe. Um, and, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Later.